What is a node label in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.414.1. I've also got three agents attached to this controller. Now let's take a look at the documentation for agent. And specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the node parameter. Now what we can see here is that agent node label, give it a label name, behaves the exact same way as agent label label name. However, Node allows for additional options such as custom workspace. So before we get to custom workspace, let's go ahead and create a job using Node label. So let's go ahead and create a job called Node label. So we'll type Node label, select pipeline, click OK. Let's just use the hello world as our starting point. So instead of saying agent any, going back to the documentation, we're going to use agent node label. So let's go create it that way. So I'll say agent, let's get rid of the any. We'll put our braces in, node, braces again, and we'll say label, and we'll say the label of Linux, because I know that's one of the labels for one of my agents. Let's go ahead and make a change down here to the body of our job. I'm going to say sh. I'm going to sleep for five seconds, and then I'm going to echo hello. And then we're going to be done with this job. So let's click on Save and click on Build Now. If we go back to the dashboard, what we're going to see is that the job was scheduled to run on Agent 1. So if we go ahead and go back into Node Label, take a look at the output. We'll see that, yes, we were running on Agent 1. We slept for five seconds, and then we said hello. But notice here that we were running on Agent 1 in Home Vagrant Agent Workspace Node Label. Well, let's say for a moment that I don't actually want my job to run inside of that specific workspace. How do we do that? Well, let's go back over to our documentation, and we're going to scroll down just a little bit below the section with the parameters. And what we'll see here is a section called Common Options. Label is the one that we just used, and now we can use Custom Workspace. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify our node to now use a custom workspace. So let's go ahead and go back over into our job. We're going to modify the job to use this custom workspace. So we'll go down here and right below label, I'm pasting in custom workspace, and then I'm specifying on that agent where I want the workspace to be. Now this workspace doesn't have to exist, but it has to be in an area of the agent that the credentials that I have that I've connected to from the controller to the agent can access. So I know that I'm currently connected to the agent using a credential of Vagrant. So I know that my home directory for Vagrant is home Vagrant. And then I'm just creating a new workspace directory underneath that home directory. So let's go and click on Save and click on Build Now. If we take a look at the output of number two, what we'll see initially is that we're running on agent one in Home Vagrant Agent Workspace node label. But then we are running in Home Vagrant My Custom Workspace, and then we run the job. This isn't really that exciting, but let's check this out. Let's go back into the job. Let's modify the job one last time. And this time, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and touch file.txt. And then I'm also going to go ahead and do an ls of that directory. So I'll say ls l. Home Vagrant My Custom Workspace, and click on Save. Let's go ahead and click on Build Now and take a look at the output of number three. So we can, again, see that we started up initially in the workspace, but then it created the workspace. And if we take a look at the output of our LSL, we can see here that the file.txt file was created inside of this custom workspace. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at Cloudbees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to Cloudbees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on Cloudbees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.